Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is my favorite time of month and that is the time of month where I get to film the new cozy mystery releases for the following month. So this will be for December 2023, last month of the year. Can you guys believe it? I hope you guys all had a happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate and we're just gonna hop in. So our first one is part of a series I personally love. I've read the first two books and this is gonna be book three in the Spice Isle Bakery series and this is called Coconut Drop Dead by Olivia Matthews. This is coming out on December 26th, so right after Christmas. Really love this. Our main character in this is Lindsay Murray, and she is a very ambitious young woman. Her, she runs a family bakery, and it takes place in Brooklyn. And during this one, she's going to be at the annual Caribbean American Heritage Festival. So Spice Isle Bakery is actually going to be one of the event's food vendors, and she's just so excited because her and her family have been attending this festival as like guests for a really long time but this year they'll actually be one of the vendors they're really hoping their west indian pastries and finger foods are going to draw people back to their bakery in the little caribbean and she's really looking forward to just having fun connecting with customers celebrating with her family unfortunately the day's festivities are cut short when camille who is the lead singer of an up-and-coming reggae band dies now, the police think it could be a tragic accident, but Lindsay's cousin, Manny, was really close to Camille, and he believes someone cut her life short. So now Manny needs Lindsay to help make sure that the killer is caught, basically. So I can't wait. This sounds like a really fun time. I love the color scheme for the series covers. I think they're really striking. And that is our first selection. Another book coming out on December 26th is called Deep Fried Death, A Country Store Mystery. This is by Maddie Day. This one takes place on Memorial Day with the Abe Martin Festival. I don't know if this is a real festival, but it's really interesting. Basically, residents, they think this is like the best thing ever. And they basically put outhouses on like wheels and push them like d down a hill or something like in a competition. I have never heard of that. Now I don't live anywhere near Indiana, but that sounds really interesting to me. And our main character in this is Pans and Pancakes owner Robbie Jordan, which is like a country store and restaurant. And she is really busy right now. She's got a lot of drama going on, like an ex lover or romantic interest has re-entered her life, maybe giving her a little bit of a hard time. She's trying to figure out her new deep fire. But Robbie is not about to let this great opportunity for marketing evade her, so she's going to be participating in this competition. Unfortunately, during the race, her outhouse, a body, like, falls out of it, which lands her on the suspect list and certainly is not the great publicity that she was looking for. So what an interesting concept. I have never heard anything like that before so I think that's so creative and so interesting and a really cute cover for this one. This next one cracks me up because the location is Nightmare, Arizona. Like the town is called Nightmare. You couldn't pay me to live there. I couldn't live somewhere called Nightmare. That just <laughs> could not do it. I don't know if I'm superstitious or what, but that would freak me out. And the book itself is called Murder at the Motel. This is book four in the Nightmare Arizona Paranormal Cozy Mystery Series. It's written by Beth Dogner, and this will be coming out on December 13th, 2023, which is just so perfect with like the haunting theme and it comes out on the 13th. Like, I mean, come on, that's perfect. So our main character is Olivia Kendrick and murder hits too close to home with her when her annoying neighbor at Cowboys Corral Motor Lodge turns up dead. And now she's trying to figure out, did any of the other guests hold a grudge against Leonard? So she's kind of eyeing some shady suspects, but Olivia can't help but blame herself. She's thinking, maybe she really is a conjurer. Maybe she accidentally killed her downstairs neighbor with magic because she didn't really care for them. So maybe she kind of willed it into being, basically. And so with the help of her supernatural friends at Nightmare Sanctuary Haunted House, Olivia is going to spy on a plumber, get an eerie prediction from a psychic, and face veiled threats. At the same time, her boss, Damien, learns a secret that will change the way he thinks of his family forever, and Olivia must help him deal with this life-altering news even while she tries to find the killer. And this is described as a light-hearted series about starting over, found family, and solving murders in a quirky old mining town with a secret supernatural community. Now, I have a fascination with like ghost towns and mining towns. I don't know if it's the Scooby-Doo like Miner 49er was a favorite episode as a child. I just think it's so interesting and like spooky and the covers for this are so pretty with the purple but this one sounds very interesting if you like supernatural cozies. This next one is perfect for any dog lovers out there. It's called Sniffing Out Murder, a Bailey the Bloodhound Mystery. It's coming out on the 5th and it's written by Kaylee E. Benjamin. 
So our main character in this one is Priscilla. This is the first book in the series and she's basically decided, you know what, being a teacher isn't for me, but she likes to write. So she's actually inspired by her bloodhound, Bailey, and she creates this children's book series, The Adventures of Bailey the Bloodhound. And she also moves back to Indiana, so another Indiana cozy here. And she moves back and she's kind of surprised to find out that not a whole lot has changed. I mean, there's some change, but it's not as different as she might have thought after all these years. However, she is a little sad to find out that one of the former mean girls at her high school is now like the school principal. And unfortunately, she is determined to cut out frivolous things like the like English and arts programs, which it's like <laughs> just makes me so sad on so many levels as someone who's a writer. Uh, for work and also obviously loves books that just no don't like the arts are important people and this would also include cutting out Priscilla and Bailey's beloved pet like reading and pet program with the children and Priscilla is really upset about this she ha exchanges some words with the mean girl Whitney and unfortunately later on Bailey actually sniffs out Whitney's body and Bailey and Priscilla are now suspect because of the altercation that they had. So lovely idea. This is a brand new series. I love the idea for this. I so many cute elements of this. The dog on the cover is darling. So had to include this one. Next we have one by one of my favorite authors, Paige Shelton. This one's called Lost Hours A Mystery and this is part of the Alaska Wild Mystery Series. It is coming out on December 5th and this is the fifth book in the series. Now this is a cozy mystery series from Paige Shelton that I've been meaning to get to. I actually have book one on my physical TBR card. I'm hoping to get to it this winter because of the Alaskan setting. I think it's perfect. And this particular book has a pretty cool plot. So our main character in this one is Beth Rivers and she has moved out to Alaska within like the first book or so and she's kind of starting to settle in. She's starting to find some like found family. She's making some connections with some of her actual family which she wasn't sure she'd ever be able to do. And she decides that she actually wants to go on an outing that's very popular with tourists, which is to go out like on a boat to see glaciers. And even though she's been here for a while, she hasn't had the chance to do that. So she decides to do that. And while they're out there, they find this woman who's like standing on a shore and she's like covered in blood and she's like waving for help. Like she's frantic. She needs help. So they, the captain pulls the boat aside and they get her, they get her on board. And while Beth is kind of listening to this woman, she finds out that she was a kidnapping victim and that she's really worried because the police haven't been very helpful. Um, because the woman was in witness protection and despite that, the police just didn't really like her, weren't really helpful, and she still got kidnapped. And then another kidnapping actually ends up happening and Beth and the police chief are now on this case trying to figure it out and see if they're connected in any way. So the vibe I get from this series is that's a little more serious in tone than a lot of the other like little more lighthearted cozies of just with the kidnapping a little more serious in tone but I love Paige Shelton's writing in the Scottish Bookshop Mystery Series so I imagine it's really good. This next one is such a cute theme it's called Matchbox Murder a Mary Wrath Mystery and this is going to be coming out on December 12th 2023. It's written by Leslie Langtree and it has a campfire theme to it. So we have a very interesting character here. Her name is Mary and she's actually an ex-CIA agent. In her free time now, she actually runs a Girl Scout troop. And so she's taking them on a weekend camping trip and you know, they're enjoying campfires and they're also learning some like riflery skills from her friend who is a like a ex-CIA assassin, although she's not like an assassin because that wouldn't be legal, but that's kind of what she does, like, apparently that's what she did, kind of. It's put like this, who isn't an assassin because the CIA doesn't have assassins because that would be illegal, but she totally is. There we go. So, you know, what could go wrong? They have, you know, these amazing women looking after them, they have the Girl Scouts, they're in, like, camping grounds, you know. It's a fun weekend, right? Well, unfortunately, the caretaker for the campgrounds is found murdered, and then the girls all get trapped out there during a bad storm. Now, Mary and her friend are more than, like, they're well-equipped to handle this. Like, you know, they know all the things to do. They have their CIA background. Like, they can handle this, but they got to figure out who the killer is and protect the Girl Scouts. So, really interesting, a fun theme, very unique, and I think the cover is super fun for this. Next, we have a cafe cozy mystery series. This is book... 30 within the Paradale Cafe Cozy Mystery series and it's called Mince Pies and Madness by Agatha Frost and this will be coming out on December 12th, 20. 
23. So basically, a mysterious benefactor begins funding the spirited protest against the Haworth estate development in Paradale, and Julia Southbrown finds herself at the heart of a deepening rebellion. The Save Paradale Soul campaign is gaining a lot of momentum, and they're trying to thwart these developers in the area, but Julia is really concerned when she gets this cryptic message from a woman connected to the council, hinting at dark days ahead. When the power cuts out, it's clear that someone is determined to keep Paradale in the dark, quite literally. With increasingly tempting offers to buy her cafe coming from the suave but sinister James Jacobson, the villagers rally behind Julia, so they're not concerned at all about the developer's takeover. The community's resilience shines. They even have an illicit Christmas market springing up in defiance. Unfortunately, all of this unity is shattered when a car crashes through the stalls and the village has to brace for the construction to begin. There's a lot of sabotage, there's secrets, there's all these things that are going to spill out at the developer James Winter Gala, which could alter the fate of the town forever. So with the future of the village hanging by a thread, Julia and her allies have to piece together a fragmented history. They have to unearth a bunch of grudges and alliances, and they need to make their last stand not just for their homes, but for the very soul of their town altogether. So very dramatic, very intense, super detailed, very cute cover. It looks super delicious. And that is our next one. Next we have Paint Can Kill. This is book nine in the Cara Me Delgado mystery series written by Joanna Campbell Slan. And this is coming out on December 15th. And our main character is Kara, and she's a sassy entrepreneur. She has some kind of like collection, like treasure shop, but she's really upset because one day someone actually comes to collect some other stuff back, like these really valuable paintings. And this is going to be a really big financial hit for her. She's really upset. Well, she goes to kind of confront the wealthy woman who stiffed her about this. And unfortunately, while she's there, she stumbles on a dead body. On top of this, she's really reeling from all this grief in her life. It sounds like she's lost some of her loved ones recently, and she's just really struggling emotionally, financially, with her business, on all levels basically. So can she solve this mystery and get everything back on track? This next one is called the Bucatini Bomber and it's a delicious cozy mystery. It's a Jade Somner mystery book six in the series written by Nicolette Pierce and this is coming out on December 13th. So this one is a family cozy mystery surrounding Jade and her family. It sounds like they run the restaurant and they kind of sleuth together. There's a very short description so I can't give you too many details but basically this is a family like Italian restaurant in Chicago and they have their fair amount of like hijinks that happen there like any cozy and this time they're actually up against a bomber. So that's pretty much all I can tell you but it's supposed to be a real blast. Next we have another supernatural cozy for those that love kind of a witchy fun time. This one is called Haunted Hunches, a whirlwind witch's cozy mystery. It's book one in the series written by Ali Cat and Rosie A. Point. And it starts off with what's worse than an arranged marriage to a vampire. So what's down, down her luck librarian Sophie, she receives an invitation to meet her long lost rich relatives in Whirlwind, Wisconsin. And she's really excited, she jumps at the chance. But once she arrives, she's swept into this haunted mansion with a psychic grandmother who reveals a shocking truth. Sophie is a witch, and if she wants to keep her powers and save Whirlwind from certain doom, she has to marry a vampire. So it sounds like it could be kind of a cozy and romance combination. And this unfortunately is the most evil vampire to have ever set foot in town. Before Sophie can even go through with the wedding, a wedding guest is murdered and the peace and whirlwind is shattered forever. So with the help of her cat Pickles and the grumpy 70s rock star haunting her attic, Sophie has to save her town and herself. This one sounds very lighthearted, very like fun just really fun and cozy. I love the cover. The purple is stunning and just what a fun theme, right? This next one is a candle cozy. It's called Frosted Plum Fears, a Claire's Candles cozy mystery book nine in the series written by Agatha Frost as well. It's coming out on December 29th and this one takes place in North Ash. And unfortunately, I don't really have much to tell you on this. Again, there's really no description, but it is a Christmas cozy. We have Claire. She sells candles, I'm assuming, with the cover. And I just had to include it, though, because look at the cover. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So if you're a fan of the series or you like the theme for this, definitely check it out. Coming out on December 5th, we have Death at the Dower House, a 1920s murder mystery. This is Pippa Darling Mysteries. It's book two in the series, written by Jenna Bennett. And it takes place in early May in 1926. So our main character in this series is Philippa Darling and she and a bunch of her cousins are going to be going to this party at this large estate. They have some kind of royal connection. I think they're related to like a duke or something like that. So they're kind of 
have some kind of status like that. They arrive at the party and one of her cousins, Crispin, keeps getting targeted by this lovely lady named Joanna who is like a, who is a ward of the lady and she's kind of like flirting with him. However, one of his other like ex flames is there and she is not happy to compete with anyone else. Like there's some tension going on. Unfortunately, Joanna is found murdered and there are so many suspects. It could be related to the romance. It could be related to her being a ward. It could be related to a bunch of things. So Philippa is on the case and trying to kind of pull the pieces together and figure out what happened here. Really beautiful cover. I think it's, it has such a great like atmosphere to it. I really love the cover on this. Next we have The Deadly Donut. This is a province cozy mystery with humor, suspense, and a haunted house. This is part of the Julie Cavallo Investigates Mystery. It's book seven in the series starring Julie who is a pastry chef and it's coming out on the second. So this book is described as an atmospheric whodunit that can be read as a standalone. This uh, basically involves our main character Julie. She is a pastry chef and she's at this really luxurious exclusive hotel for the weekend. They're throwing this huge party for like a wine club, like everyone's interested in wines and trying them. So there's quite a bit of alcohol going on which sure adds to the drama a bit. And things are going okay until the hotel actually like kind of slides, like there's like a rock slide and it gets kind of disconnected from like the rest of the area but the guests are okay so they keep going and then the chef actually serves up a delicious meal unfortunately it's a little too good because it ends up killing someone so julie is now on the case and it sounds like some guests might also like continue to die throughout this so she needs to really pick it up and solve this before the killer gets to her basically the cover is so cute. I mean, I'm partial to the red hair, but I just love it. The cover is adorable. This next one is one of my most anticipated releases, and that is Public Anchovy Number 1. It's a deep dish mystery series. It's book three in the series, written by Mindy Quigley, and this is coming out on December 26th. And this one involves our main character, Delilah O'Leary. She has a deep dish pizzeria in Wisconsin, and I love, I loved book one and two. Book two, especially like the ending, the clue, like the final clue and connection for that blew my mind. Absolutely recommend it. And in this one, Delilah is focused on seeing her struggling restaurant through the winter slow season. There's actually going to be a prohibition themed fundraiser that a lot of the upper crust of Geneva Bay is going to be partying at. The temperature outside is continuing to plummet, but Delilah's love life might actually be heating up as she seems to be possibly on the verge of getting asked out by this detective who's kind of had her eye, they've had their eyes on each other. And Delilah is also hoping to perfect a new free from pizza recipe for a charity bash. Unfortunately, this idea is kind of ruined when a dead body crashes the party. So soon the police detective Delilah and her entire staff are trapped in an isolated mansion and embroiled in a dangerous game of cat and mouse. And there's an increasingly desperate killer there on top of all that, so Delilah's gonna have to outdo herself and solve this case before more harm comes to her or her staff. It's an isolated mystery. I'm so excited because the other ones in the series were amazing, but they weren't like closed, you know, isolated isolation tropes there. This one is an isolated mansion. Could not be better. I'm so excited. Also, she has this really adorable cat, as you can probably see on the cover. His name is Bob, and he's a very He's a bit of a chunky cat and he has the cutest personality. I love this cat so much. Next we have another 1920s cozy mystery. Surprise, like just an interesting coincidence there. And this one is called Murder on the Cornish Cliffs. And this is a Lady Eleanor Swift mystery. It's book 16 in the series written by Verity Bright. It's coming out on December 1st. So our main character in this is Lady Eleanor Swift. She also has a bulldog named Gladstone. I'm already hooked. I love bulldogs. They're so adorable and dorky looking and I love it. But she kind of receives a strange request. Her, An old friend of her uncle, Mr. Cunliffe, wants her to stay with him during the holidays because he's convinced his gardener is trying to poison him. She gets a strange letter from him and there's a lot of pressure for her to go out there so she starts to make her way there. But when they arrive, they find a body. But it's not the friend of the uncle. It's the gardener himself who's at the bottom of the cliff. And her uncle's friend has no alibi. Like, he is a very shaky alibi. It's not looking good for him. And so her and some detective are starting to kind of investigate, look into things. Things take a turn for the worse, though, when Gladstone, the bulldog, pulls out this, like, some charred, like, papers from the fireplace, and it looks like some kind of garden plan. So that might play some kind of part with the mystery. 
love the cover beautiful dress great perfect timing for this to come out December 1st because it does take place right about Christmas time and yeah I just had to include this one next we have a lovely lethal gardens this is book 23 in the series it's called whispers in the wisteria by Dale Mayer and this is coming out on December 5th so it sounds like we kind of have two sort of main characters in this we have Doreen who I'm assuming is the blonde lady on the cover and then we have Mac and Mac is a corporal and they always have some fun together and but Doreen overhears a conversation that actually sounds like a murder confession and she's really concerned naturally and Mac kind of writes it off he's like oh no that's no way but then a body ends up showing up and it's the body of a young man and it's a young man who actually had his parents disappear previously in a very unexplained way so the grandparents think there's some kind of connection between his death and the parents disappearance so now Doreen and Mac are on the case and I love the I love the like illustration art on like the style of illustration on this I think it's so cool looking it looks very like vintage I really like it we have another historical fiction cozy by Victoria Thompson this is called a city of betrayal a counterfeit lady novel book seven in the series and this one is coming out on December 5th 2023 and our main character in this is Elizabeth and she's actually a con artist and it's been about a year since she's done some kind of con and life has been a little more you know predictable but a little boring but she's really throwing herself into this project on a team where she's trying to get the 19th amendment like passed and all the other southern states have de like declined it they voted no on it but Tennessee is the last one and they're hoping maybe they can get Tennessee to go ahead and put it forward so she's using all of her con artist skills to kind of persuade the men who are voting and stuff on this to pass the amendment however she's just shocked to see the lengths that some people would go to keep voting out of women's hands and that's what this book kind of features really cool cover I think it's a really interesting concept I really like reading from the perspective of like a con artist because I just find that so interesting next we have a perfect dog and coffee lover combo it's called a barks and beans cafe cozy mystery it's book eight in the series written by Heather Day Gilbert and it's called Shade Grown and this one's coming out on December 11th 2023 and the Barks and Beans Cafe has a really cool concept it's a quaint place where folks can pet shelter dogs while enjoying a cup of coffee and this takes place in Lewisburg and it's during a very popular summer home and garden tour Macy and her brother Beau discover new aspects of their hometown's history they're kind of visiting this lush commemorative shade garden where a Civil War soldier's bones were buried and while she's pausing to admire the garden bed, she sees a shadow shape lying beneath the dinner plate leaves, and it turns out to be the body of a movie star, Cody Franklin, who had purchased the garden house as a quiet country retreat. At the cafe, Macy speaks with Cody's distraught sister, who lets it slip that she's afraid her brother's killer will target her next, and Macy's really concerned for the sister, so she agrees to speak with Cody's local acquaintances and hopes she'll uncover some helpful backstory and help the sister out. Unfortunately, someone powerful is kind of lurking behind the scenes, and Macy has to zoom in and find this killer before everything takes a turn for the worse. This one does say that there is no swearing or graphic scenes, so if you you know like most cozies but I know some cozies do include some swearing but keep that in mind if you definitely don't want any swearing this one says no swearing in the description and cute dog on the cover I love it next we have another supernatural cozy and this one is a real estate supernatural cozy it's called the lifeless listing a paranormal cozy mystery this is part of the spooky shanty reality mysteries it's book two in the series written by B.I. Skinner and this is coming out on December 31st so it sounds like in the first book that Molly our main character cleared her sister's name of murder and she's excited to go back to real estate sales until a body is discovered in the lake nearby and she's gonna get sleuthing on that there's really not much more of a description so that's all I got for you right now but I wanted to share love the cover and I like the idea of a supernatural and real estate agent I think that's a fun fun combo and then last but not least we have the price of greed a historical ghost cozy mystery this is part of the price of murder series it's book three in the series written by Carrie Beauvais and this is coming out on December 26 2023 our main character in this is Arabella Pierce and she is very nervous right now because she's opening up a very luxurious hotel. She's also a sleuth who has the site as it's described and things are going okay. Guests are partying, they're enjoying themselves until a guest falls from the second story and dies. It's found out that the guest was actually poisoned before they fell off the balcony. So now Arabella is trying very hard to stay out of the investigation because she's finally made peace with the police. It sounds like she maybe had some run-ins with them in the past. 
and she's trying to stay out of it but she's worried for her business things are kind of taking a turn for the worse and she ends up actually taking in the policeman because it sounds like he gets injured or something and she is so excited because he actually asks her to take like keep an eye out for things basically so along with her dog and her sight she's going to keep an eye out and try to do a little sleuthing and figure out what's really going on at her hotel and that is everything guys thank you for sticking with me for 20 new cozy mystery releases please let me know what are your top three that you're most excited for I'm gonna leave mine down below in the comments and thank you again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe I do post these new release videos all the time every single month on my channel and do a lot of other mystery content and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!